morning from morning. Black Beach in Silver Bay, Minnesota. So check it out what we're doing. We are kayaking all the way to Palisade Head. And this has been one of those things I said when we got our kayaks, I want to kayak like Superior. And oh my God, you guys, it it's is like day. the most beautiful day, sunny, the water on Lake Superior is so calm. So we're so excited to head out on our kayaks today on Lake Superior for our first time. And yeah, we're leaving from Black Beach and going up to Palisade. It's about two miles one way on the kayaks. So we're so excited. It is gonna be so nice out there. Oh my God, look at that, you guys. It's 8.45 in the morning. You ready, honey? Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. You ready? Wow. You guys, we're just like off the shore and it is so deep and like the water is so clear. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And like the fog is still coming off the water. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's gonna be a good day, you guys. So it is July 3rd today, so happy 4th of July weekend to everyone. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great weekend. So we are supposed to be in Iceland right now. However, due to the pandemic, of course, that all got canceled. So we figured this could be one of the best ways to spend 4th of July weekend. <laughs> it's a day trip up here, but we were actually just up here two weeks ago when we did the bean and bear hiking loop and that was an awesome day. So we are lucking out on the weather because today is amazing and two weeks ago it was amazing. So yeah, this is gonna be awesome. This was like one of those epic goals of mine. I always wanted to kayak like Superior and we're doing it. Look at this like ledge. I don't know if you can see that in the video. Freaky. This is so freaky, these rocks. Oh my gosh. The seagulls are out. Oh, it's so pretty. But the rocks, wow. We're just like offshore and it's super deep, but then there's like this really big rock ledge. <laughs> Morning, seagulls. <laughs> Some more of this rock ledge. So weird. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> It is hot out already. Gotta get our water going. Whew. There's like a boathouse right here. It looks like an old boathouse. It's kind of cool. So today's plans are, we're, we started the day off here with the kayak, of course. And then we want to go to Tadeguchi State Park and just do some hiking around there. Just enjoy the day because it's so beautiful out. thing about this you do not see this from hiking this is so pretty wow there's like little private beaches and stuff all the way along here so definitely a different view of Lake Superior and the North Shore babies let's see if we can get them 
There they are. Cute. Lots of babies. Oh, it's okay, babies. <laughs> this is this amazing or what, hun? It's great. Oh my god, it's like you're in a different world. There's like no people and it's so peaceful. It's like we flew somewhere and we're on a vacation. I know. But we drove. <laughs> right, we just drove three and a half hours and it's like we're in a different world. So pretty. Yeah. Gonna go in the sea cave? <laughs> kind of freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> it's like dripping water. <laughs> I feel like those rocks are gonna fall. I know. So one thing that we told ourselves, because we had no idea like what the lake conditions were gonna be like today, we said if there's a touch of wind, we aren't going out because we have never kayaked in such a big body of water before. And Lake Superior can be wicked. So we're like, nope, we're not chancing anything. So when we got up this morning and we got up here, we saw the lake and it was like glass. And it still is, you guys. It's so amazing. So definitely, I highly recommend kayaking when it's like this. We are just so lucky for this day. It's so beautiful to see it in such a different way. We've never seen it from water like this. And the cool thing with kayaks, you can like get so close and just like go over all these rock ledges like I was kind of showing you back there. So it's so unique, so cool. So that tower right there in the background, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get my finger on it. Right there, kind of. <laughs> That's where we're going to. That is Palisade Head. All right, we just kayaked across that area and it was like dark blue. So it was super deep. <laughs> I kind of got weirded out because I couldn't see bottom. But here's a little secluded beach. We're gonna just go up on it and kind of stretch and then keep going. <laughs> here's the secluded beach. No way anyone has ever came down here, probably. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. I kind of feel like I'm on like a little private island or something. <laughs> There's like no one around. This is so crazy. Good break. Onward. Oh. Over there. <laughs> I know. Just coming up to the Palisade Cliffs area. And this is cool. There's like a little arch in front of us. <laughs> Are you gonna do it, honey? I think so. Oh boy. Kind of Be careful. He's doing it! There it is, you guys. There's the cliffs. When you're down here on the water looking up, they're so big. When we get done with this kayak, we're gonna go up there because there's some hiking you can do up there. There's an overlook up there. So it'll be cool to see, like we just kayaked in front of this and now we're gonna go hike on top of it. Oh, there's people. Wow. We did it, honey. We did it. Woohoo! We did it all the way from Black Sand Beach to beautiful Palisade. It's a long paddle. It's a long paddle. It takes so But it was beautiful. Oh my God, it's so cool to see it from down here. It's huge. 
Wow, look at that, guys. How crazy. That's so cool. There's rock climbers up there. We just saw people, they're rock climbing down here. It's a beautiful day for that. So we always said that these cliffs kind of remind us of the Cliffs of Moher in Ireland because those are such dramatic cliffs. So these are the Minnesota Cliffs of Moher is what we call it. <laughs> what do you think guys? For all of you who've been to Ireland, would you, would you agree? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Wow. That would be cool though. There's like an echo down here. So <laughs> he's having fun. It's like yeah. echoing off the rocks. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we just said, we were just talking about how we'll probably never look at this area the same way now that we've like kayaked right by it. It's just such a different experience seeing it like this than up above, which up above is so beautiful. And I'm gonna show you, but I'm so glad we finally did this. All right, go back through the arch, honey. Okay. <laughs> You're not saying no. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It is. You better go, hon. I'm catching up here. That was cool. Freaky, freaky, though. That looks okay. <laughs> Alright, time to head back to Black Sand Beach. Woohoo! <laughs> Almost there. We're getting there. <laughs> Back. <laughs> Time to load these up. This is our lunch spot. We are down at the Silver Bay Marina area. And yeah, this is going to be perfect. Nice little spot. So we were gonna eat down at the Black Sand Beach, but you guys, it was so packed and there was like no areas available and we just were not comfortable being down there or, and eating, there were so many people. So we left and we're like, we need to go find a spot that is a lot more chill, not as many people, and this is it. So this is perfect, but you guys, oh my gosh, my neck and my shoulders are like noodles. It's like hard to keep my head up because it's just, they were worked. When we got back, I retracked the kayak uh, route that we did, and it was 2.5 miles each way. So we did a total of five miles um, round trip from Black Sand Beach to Palisade Head. And then for anyone who's interested in doing that uh, route from Black Sand Beach to Palisade Head, um, so we left at quarter to nine, um, and then we got back at about quarter after 11. So it was about two and a half hours that it took us to get there and back. Um, we did kind of go a little slower on the way to Palisade and then on the way back, we kind of cut straight across right back to Black Sand Beach. So um, yeah, we could probably cut out time if you didn't want to go along the coastline. However, it's so pretty. So I highly recommend it if you are doing that, um, at least one stretch, whether it's there or back, definitely be sure to go along the coastline. It's so pretty and you get such a different view of Lake Superior when you're doing that. Oh yeah. All right, so right now we are on top of Palisade Head. So this is gonna be so cool to like see it from above now because we were just hanging out below it in our kayaks. Oh my God. Be careful. That's crazy. So the breeze has picked up. And now there's like a little bit of wind and farther out, there's kind of a little bit of um, 
white caps. So that was such perfect timing because that was like the biggest thing I was scared of when we were kayaking was that the wind was going to pick up and then get really rough out there. It's still pretty fine, but <laughs> we had like the best kayaking uh, water. So it's amazing right after we left, a little bit of wind. So pretty. So this is a beautiful Palisade Head of Minnesota. It's so weird to think we were just kayaking down there. It's crazy. There's tons of people rock climbing. So there was a few viewpoints I really wanted to like show you guys, but there was rock climbers everywhere. So I couldn't go where they were. So um, anyways, but it's beautiful. These views are beautiful up here and that's kind of what it looks like. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this video into two parts. So this will be part one and then we're going to head over to Tedaguchi State Park now and hike and enjoy the rest of our day over there. So stay tuned for that video, that will be part two. I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions about kayaking, um, we are not professional kayakers for Lake Superior, that is not our thing and we're not professional kayakers at all, but um, this was like one of those bucket list things we wanted to do and July 3rd, 2020, we did it. So it was a lot of fun. So thanks so much for watching.